Hey guys, this is Frock2K9, and today I'm going to be showing you how to put your custom co op maps or custom maps for your portal or portal 2, whatever, into their folders and how to start it up. So, first of all, you, you don't, you're only going to need one thing, and that's the, that's the map itself. Whether that be more map files than that, but generally, there's your map file, right? Okay, so you, what you want to do is you want to take that map file and you want to put it in a specific directory, so or specific, sorry. So you want to go into your computer, and then you want to go to your bootable drive, your program files, uh, then you want to find your Steam. You can find that by hitting S, and it'll take you straight down to your S's, and then Steam apps, and then your common, and then you want to go to Portal 2, is what I've got, so Portal 2, and then you want to click on Portal 2 again, and then you want to go to Maps. Okay, so there's your directory, that's where you want your map file to go, so what you want to do is you want to click on it, drag it in, drag it into to drag it into where your maps are, just drag it in there, and that's it. That's it, that's done, that part's done, you can close off that, and now you're going to need to start up your game. Okay, so once you've got your game started up, what you're going to need to do, is you're going to need to enable your console, so, if you don't know how to enable your console, you're going to have to look that up. I'll do a separate tutorial on that. It's pretty much the same for most games. You just uh, you just go onto your start and you, f you basically find it through your options and enable your console. But once you've got it enabled, there's a little button next to your number one. So, uh, it's, it's just a little button next to your one. To the left of it, and it's below escape and above tab on most keyboards. Alright, so that's 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 where it is, and that's, uh, that's your tilde key. What you want to do is you want to press that, and you're going to have your console window come up. Then what you're going to do is you're going to type into your console window, if you've got a solo map, if your map was on solo, then you, all you've got to do is type in map, and then whatever the map is, most of the time it will come up with a drop down selection, and you just can just select your map from there quite easily. But for co-op it's a little different. What you have to do is you have to change the level to whatever level you're doing. So you just type in change level and then space and then MP and then underscore, generally it's co-op and then underscore and then the name of the map. Here's my example of the map I'm doing, Broken Neurons. So I would type in change level and now you have to be the host for this to work. If you're not the host, you won't actually change the level. And both partners, so both your, both you and your partner in science have to have the map file for this to work. But only the host can change the level to the map. So you hit change level, then you type in your MP co-op, and then you type in the name of your map, example broken neurons. Then you just want to hit enter and you'll be taken you'll be taken to your to your map. You just be basically it'll reload the map and uh, you'll be you'll be on your custom map. Nice, easy, simple. Now this was quite difficult when we were trying it. We had several things go wrong. And uh, I advise you not tab out when you're on a custom map. I broke my custom map several times by tabbing out of it. So I suggest you don't tab out. So that's, that's my little tutorial. And uh, yeah, so please rate, comment and subscribe.